and summertime means endless weekends of grilling out and backyard barbecue, but boy, that gets hot after a while, so you may want to duck inside and make a nice, cool salad if you're struggling to come up with uh, some new dishes for the family uh, that are healthy and delicious. We've got you covered there as well. Kevin Dar, the chef from City Cellar at City Place, is here today with an easy recipe using fresh local produce. Thank you so much for coming in today. You're welcome. Nice, cool salad sounds me. good when it's so hot. It's been 105 degrees every day, it feels like, right? Absolutely. All right, so what are we making? and uh, let's get it started. Well, like you said, when it's really, really hot outside, yeah. the only thing I can think of eating is a nice ripe piece of fruit. <laughs> All right. So we've taken this fruit. Fruit too, good, um, yeah. And we've made it into a savory salad. We have some fresh cherries from Washington State. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have some peaches from California, mm -hmm. some fresh red velvet apricots, um, a little bit of fennel that we've shaved, some baby arugula, mm -hmm. um, so a little bit of red onions, a light citrus vinaigrette and some fresh herbs. Okay. All right, so let's get started. Shall we mix up a little okay. bit here? And so we see the finished product, but let's not go there yet. First, we're going to take a little bit of the shaved fennel, right. which is bright, has a little bit of a licorice flavor. Mm -hmm. Some baby arugula. Yeah, this is easy to make at home, <laughs> right? I mean, you don't have to be that daring. Absolutely, and if you have guests over too, you can set it up like this, and everybody can make their there own you go. salad. That's good. Everybody Think gets you're involved. Wrong. Just going to mix the greens. A little bit of sea salt. All right. We're going to dress that with the citrus vinaigrette that, that we citrus made. Citrus vinaigrette is that tricky to make or very easy? Everything that you it's have at home already, maybe six ingredients, and they all go in a bowl all right. and get whisked together. A couple together. of nice tablespoonfuls. Mm -hmm. All right. You this know, and this, is good. this this fruit is interchangeable mm -hmm. depending on what's in season. Right now, the stone fruits in season, the peaches, and, and it's very colorful apricots. also. I guess you could throw in some uh, strawberries. Absolutely. <laughs> Why not? Or apples and yeah, pears. Yeah, there you go. So we're going to put our stone fruit. A little bit of feta cheese. And some fresh herbs. i got to tell you, that's this, good stuff. This I used mint and basil. Good combo, yeah. I, I don't like when I'm eating a salad and every bite tastes the same, so... In this, you get a little pop from the cherry. You want to mix that together? And sure. Is that on the menu at City Cellar? Well, we're putting it on as a small plate throughout the summer, oh, depending great. on the seasonality what of the What are some of your more popular items that you have at City Cellar? We do a huge yeah. menu on cheese and charcuterie. Oh, yeah? Uh, House-cured hams, and prosciutto, salami, um, and 25 different cheeses from all over the world. And any specials going on for the next few weeks or well, so? We're running this salad, and we're running Excellent. a pompano um, and a crudo with some yellowtail hamachi out of California All right. for the rest of the summer. Beautiful. It does look good. My producer's in my ear saying, hey, that looks delicious. So, you know, it's a winner, huh? There it is. Beautiful. That's a thing of beauty right there. All right, Kevin, thank you so much for coming in and showing us the proper way to make a nice, delicious summertime salad. You're welcome. All thank right. you for having me. If you want to get a taste of it, just head over to City Cellar. And uh, just in time for summer. And hit it before summer's over, by the way.